All right, so I'm gonna do a video to show how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 15 model 20309. Okay, so first what you wanna do is un uh, remove the battery. So just pull these two tabs to the side, all right? And then you can pull the battery out. All right, this one I was a little confused because the cover was really hard to get out, but there's two hidden screws underneath these rubber covers. So there's these rubber covers here. So you do have to pull these rubber covers out and then take the two screws out here. So underneath the battery, there's a bunch of screws as well. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 screws total, okay? Let me make sure I didn't miss any. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 16 okay this screw got stuck in there but you do have to undo that screw as well okay so once you do that and after you've removed the, removed the battery you want to open the screen and then press and hold the power button for about 15 seconds just to drain any power this cover is pretty stubborn to remove so keep that in mind it is going to be difficult the keyboard is also very difficult to remove I'm not going to show that because I don't want to damage the keyboard um, but you do have to pry it out pretty strong, okay? So for here on the bottom cover, what you need to do is get your fingernails or a pry tool between the palm rest and the bottom cover, okay? So again, this is pretty difficult to open up, but once you get your fingernails and pry tools underneath, it might be easier now because I took out the two screws that I forgot, but the first time I did this, it was very difficult. Okay, so for some reason now, the I guess with this off, it came out pretty easily. But when these two screws were in place, I don't know why, but these clips were extremely difficult to remove. So if you took all the screws out and it's difficult to remove, that might just be normal. It could just be since I popped the clips already, they're a bit weaker now. But here you go. You can see all the clips under here, and that's how you remove the bottom cover, okay? So now that you got the bottom cover out, I'm going to do a quick one because I have to return this computer to my customer soon. Um, it's pretty interesting. They have the battery connector here that's attached to the board with another adapter. I don't know why they did it that way instead of just extending the board over slightly. Um, you got the, this is probably the webcam and microphone connectors. You got the uh, LCD or LVDS connector. So I got other videos showing this so if you're not sure how to do it But basically you just pull this tab and then I just pry up on the little corner with my fingernail If you're using pry tools be very careful make sure you're using like plastic and also be careful that you're only prying the connector on here And not underneath all right, so I pulled out the DC jack connector to test it But the DC jack connector you kind of let me zoom in a little bit But you just grab it and then you kind of just wiggle 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 Okay, and it pops out like that. So that's the DC jack connector. Um, there's also the CMOS battery connector. I can't really, okay. Got the CMOS battery connector here. So I disconnected that as well. It comes out the same way, but it looks like this computer is fried on the motherboard. Um, the RAM, just like every other computer, pull these two tabs to the side, the RAM stick will pop up. This is DDR3 1600. So they don't say the exact other stuff but if you look for DDR3 1600 you'll find the RAM okay there is only one stick so keep that in mind you got a slim uh, hard drive here so oops let me zoom back out so you got a slim SATA 2.5 inch SATA hard drive you can put a two and a half inch uh, SSD in here as well and it should fit you just have to take these four screws out to remove the bracket um, to remove these connectors, you just flip these latches up. If you can't really see it too well, uh, you can watch other videos I have. They're mostly all the same types of connectors, but I'm just showing what's quickly inside here so you can get an idea. So you got a speaker going here. The cable connects to the board here. Another speaker connected here. All right, sorry, it's going off the camera. Let's see, you got the, what is this, the LED, I think, on the front here. I don't see where the, okay, I think this is the trackpad connector here. You got this little board here, which is for the volume buttons, okay, this cable. You got this big board here for the two USB ports and the audio jack. Uh, what else? I think that's pretty much all there is. 
Yeah. So the keyboard connector, you do have to lift from the other side if you're going to replace the keyboard. You have to use quite a bit of force to pry it out from the top side after you remove the screws from in here. So I don't want to do that and then risk damaging it. You could probably better push the keyboard through from this side once you have this open, but I don't want to experiment with that. So there is, it looks like an M.2 SSD slot here, but it's for the shorter one. I'm not exactly sure if that really is, but it does look like one. Oh yeah, it is B key, so it has a B key, so that's a SATA, I think it's a SATA M.2 SSD. Alright, um, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is inside this computer. Sorry, it was just a quick one, but I do have to return this to my customer now. Um, yeah, hopefully this video was useful. If it helped you, please like and subscribe so others can find this video. And thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!